Hello, my friends, and welcome to The Chew. I'm Robert Wallace, and this is the place where we ask, am I choosing the way of Jesus, or am I choosing my own way? Well, I hope you enjoyed The Chew from yesterday, had some technical issues, and reposted The Chew that I did on August 15th. It was fitting. It fit in. The invitation for you and I to choose Jesus today still stands. Some of you might say, well, brother, I've already chosen to follow Jesus. That's great. I'm excited about that. It's outstanding news. Have you chosen to follow him today? Jesus says this in Matthew chapter 10, verse 38. Whoever does not take up their cross and follow me is not worthy of me. And then in Luke 9, 23, Jesus said this. And he said to them all, Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross daily and follow me. Jesus is being very direct here in both of these verses. And we have discussed how we are now sanctified after we've accepted Christ and chosen to follow him. And Jesus tells us that there is a cost. The life we live in Jesus Christ must be a daily walk. We're on a journey, and it requires a daily choice. We must choose intentionally to pick up our cross, bear the burdens, and follow where Jesus leads us. I'm going to stop for a second. I'm going to tell you a story about a friend of mine that I used to work with. He had some things take place in his life, and he decided to hike the Appalachian Trail. Now, I don't mean he went for a day hike. I mean, he started at the most southern part of the Appalachian Trail and hiked all the way up, back through Virginia, on up as far north as he could go. Now, it took a commitment. It also took a daily choice. No matter how tired he was, no matter how difficult the day's walk was going to be, I shouldn't say walk, should I? How difficult the hike was going to be up mountainsides, around corners, some places very treacherous indeed. Every day, in order to accomplish that goal, he made a daily choice. Jesus is telling us. That whatever we're doing in our life, no matter what's going on, to be his disciple, to follow him is a daily choice, and we must choose. He invites us to start each day new and to follow him. Paul tells us in 1 Corinthians 1, verse 18, the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing. But to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. Yes, when we accept Jesus, we are saved. Paul wants us to know that we are being saved continually by the power of God. The author of Hebrews writes in Hebrews 12 too, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith. For the joy set before him endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. My friends, the choice is ours. Jesus invites us to walk with him in this life now. Choosing to pick up our cross and follow him is going to cost us something. Choosing to follow God's plan cost Jesus everything. His position in heaven, he set it aside. His very life, he endured scorn. He endured persecution by the Pharisees and Sadducees. They were out to get him, to do him in. And eventually they succeeded in having him condemned to the cross where he died on Calvary willingly. He had been scourged, beaten, He chose to die and bleed on the cross for you and I. Jesus gave it all. 
And then his reward was to be elevated to the right hand of God. Everything is now under his domain. We need to understand that Jesus did all of this in humility for a purpose to provide a way for our restoration with God the Father and our ultimate salvation. Paul writes in Philippians 1.21, For me to live is Christ, and to die is gain. What's he saying here? What he's saying is that we get to live life in Christ Jesus by the power of God through the Holy Spirit. When we die, we gain eternity in heaven with Christ. The way of Jesus is sanctified living. Which way are you choosing? Are you choosing the way of Jesus or are you choosing your own way? As always, I want to encourage you to go back and read these verses. or to further encourage you to read the passages. See if what I'm sharing with you today harmonizes with God's word. Because, my friends, we need to have eyes to see and ears to hear God's truth from his word. We need to have receptive hearts and minds to receive this truth. And then we need the boldness, commitment, and courage of Jesus to take a step of faith, to pick up our cross today and follow him. What will you do with what you've learned here today? I pray you'll have a wonderful day, my friends. Go in the peace of God. Blessings to you. Bye for now.